He's loud, angry and isn't going to be silenced. Fruit and veg shop owner Johnny Kapiris is on a warpath against inflation and he says the supermarkets are taking us all for a ride. Welcome to Kapiris Land. He calls himself the king and this is his land. Welcome to Kapiris Land. A corner store greengrocer where inflation doesn't exist. We got some beautiful Mount Barker strawberries for four ninety nine a punnet. Johnny Capiris is your local foul-mouthed fruiterer with a lot to say about how you shop. You want twelve ninety nine a friggin kilo. Stunts and rants take Johnny from nine to five. He's using inflation for an excuse to jack their prices up like His social media fame growing alongside his customer base. Shoppers driving miles just to meet the man behind the viral veggie videos. We come all the way up here to see you, mate. You know what I'm come saying, bro? Come and support people who are supporting the community. Yeah. My business model is if there's 10 things that are really expensive in my shop, I'll make sure there's 20 things that are cheaper. The self-proclaimed fruit ninja has managed to keep iceberg lettuce on the menu. His prices staying low as his competitors go sky high. My lettuce at worst case scenario did go to eight ninety nine, and but it was costing me $7, you know? So what I done, when items go right up, I sacrifice margin on that item. Things that I used to buy like $5 per kilo, now it's like 16 Vicky with a boot full of fruit and veg, but it's a fresh food haul that wasn't on her shopping list. I didn't buy any lettuces today, and I usually buy a lot of lettuces. Consumers are being forced to change how they shop, substituting or going without, as the cost of fruit and vegetables soar. I'm buying more tin food, uh, sort of vegetables, and uh, frozen rather than fresh. But we're going to have to change how we do things with the food. Well, it's just crazy. Who's got $10 to pay for a lettuce? I feel like asking if I can put one on the lay-by. But Johnny reckons consumers are getting taken for a ride. I buy a lot of produce in bulk. Example, mandarins, lemons, apples. Uh, it saves the grower on the, that packing charge. Johnny Capira says his store here in Adelaide's northeastern suburbs is an inflation-free zone. And if shoppers want to save a penny, they should start supporting their local greengrocer. Shoppers, consumers, they need to open their eyes to say, well, hang on a minute, we need to look after the independents. Because once the independents are all gone and the chains take over, they can monopolise all their prices. You might be thinking, how does he do it? A portion of Johnny's produce is rejected by the big chains. It can be a little smaller with imperfections, but tastes just as good. So if the tomato is big or small, does it still taste like a tomato? Of course it does. Emma Germano, president of the Victorian Farmers Federation. So in our retail shop, uh, we buy apples in bulk and then we repackage them ourselves. They're not the perfect size, but the perfect size is something that's kind of arbitrary. A culmination of factors on top of regional flooding causing the unaffordable price hikes. Fuel costs, fertiliser costs, cost of labour, cost of uh, transport, all of those things have gone up. Emma says farmers aren't profiting from a $12 a head lettuce. Instead, they're scared. At that point, consumers simply stop purchasing because the product has become too expensive. But there is always something sprouting, seasonal purchasing going out of season. In most cases with vegetable lines, we've worked out how to grow everything around Australia so that consumers can have it 12 months of the year. Hopefully it gets better. And it will. We'll probably start to see those prices maybe become more stable, so that'll be around September. While the wait is on to September, the advice is shop Australian, shop around and shop with both eyes open. Open your eyes. Open your eyes.